There's nothing better than filming out on location, not being stuck in your studio and having the ability to just walk and talk about camera gear. And as a professional videographer, one of the tools that get overlooked or very little respect is the iPhone. And with the right tools, you can get really good footage out of your iPhone or any cell phone. One of the tools that I'm using today is the Zhiyun Smooth 4, which is one of my favorite tools. Stay tuned. Flashville Media presents what you need to know. What's going on guys? My name is Ty Turner, former Army combat photographer and creative director for Flashville Media. And I am probably breaking rule number one for super high end, top of the line, professional pro videographers. And that's filming with an iPhone. But listen, I have news for you. Filming on thin little devices like this is the future. I mean, it's, it's, I've seen news companies do it and you have to embrace the fact that a majority of our video are going to start coming from devices like this. I'm not saying everything. I'm not saying high-end cinema. I'm saying a lot of our future videos are going to come from devices like this. Now, does that mean your job is going to be eliminated as a videographer? No, it's not. Because as long as people rely on auto to get good images, they're never going to be able to touch you. Um, a robot's not going to be able to show up and film with a phone and replace you. It's very difficult to write code to be creative. So what you guys are probably asking yourself is why would I even buy a Smooth 4? Well, I know that we do a lot of behind the scenes footage. We do a lot of stuff for YouTube. And sometimes we have to just put a camera in somebody's hand and say film. And this is the perfect tool for that. Plus it has one super game changing ability and that's the ability to focus with a will. Now, why does that even care? Like, why do you even, why does that even matter? I've always told you guys that to get the most cinematic shot, to get the most out of your tools, you have to have manual controls. And to be able to film uh, something and pull focus from one item to the next is what separates this device from other devices because it gives you more control. The app that they have is great. However, there are some things I don't like about it, but we'll get to that in a minute. One thing I do love about it is the fact that you don't have to touch the phone to change any controls, shutter speed, aperture, anything. Um, it has a toggle button which you can control zoom and focus. I rarely touch zoom unless, unless I have to because it lowers the quality. However, the focus knob is super smooth. It is not jittery or choppy at all. It is super smooth, unbelievably smooth for a cell phone. So if you have a iPhone or anything, you may want to give this gimbal a try. Some people say, hey, I'll use it for vacations and things like that. If you do any vlogging or anything like that, where you're talking into a camera, you can even set it to track your face so you can move back and forth. Um, and you want to be able to record out on the run. I have a lav mic connected to it. I also have a setup with a shotgun mic that I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But you can take this with you, set up, record, and have high quality content to uh, edit on the device and upload to YouTube if that's your thing. Few key features that I really like about this. I'm gonna go over a few, few things that, um, you know, I, I'm not even going to really get into a full on review. You can find those everywhere. It's a very smooth gimbal. Price is $140 at the time of filming this. There will be links in the description. I'm going to show you my kit and what I use going forward. I'm going to show you my handle with my uh, cold shoe adapters that I use for both my shotgun mic. My uh, I use a wireless lav mic system or a wired lav mic system in which i'm using right now because i'm real close to it and it's doing a pretty good job on sound and this lav mic i think i paid like nine bucks for it it's super cheap but i also have originally out of the box you cannot charge your iphone and use the gimbal simply because when you push the iphone up to the back there's not enough room um, but i have what's called a t-splitter that allow you to split the iphone so that you can plug power in one 
you can plug your mic in the top and still have it. Um, and then run your power to the gimbal, which it will power your iPhone all day. The gimbal has 12 hours of battery life. So I don't even think you can even hold your arm up for 12 hours straight. A um, lot of great features, nice vertical effect features, a lot of time lapse features, tracking time lapse. But the game changer with this gimbal is the smooth focus. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Listen to me. If you know what you're doing with a camera, with any camera, you want to shoot at the lowest possible ISO. If you're shooting at 24 frames a second, you want to make sure you're at 1 50th of a second. A must have to shoot outdoors with the iPhone is a ND filter. You have to have an ND filter. That the ND filter alone will change the quality that you're able to get out of your, your, your iPhone. Plus it helps make it more cinematic. To get that cinematic shot, you need to shoot at 24 frames a second. Um, 1 50th of a second and you know the iPhone has a very low I believe it's 1.8 2.8 uh, f-stop lens so you're going to get a really shallow depth of field believe it or not unbelievably shallow for the type or size of the sensor so it is a great on-the-go setup um, in the future because we're in the field so much we don't have time to often go back to a studio set up and film something for you guys we like to film on location talking about the gear we're using while we're using it a lot of youtubers are just filming reviews out of their basement about why this is better than that we're not those guys no disrespect to them but we're not those guys so um i'm going to show you more information on my setup and i'll post links in the description to my setup um and please understand that one genuine has not sent us anything they never have. I own this one and I own the uh, Crane 2. Um, and anytime you click on the links that are in the description, you help support the channel. So we have a package that we set up that we love to use, run and gun, provides great audio, um, and you can also add a light to it. So it gives you flexibility um, to make sure that you can use your iPhone to film wherever, handheld, light, enough battery to last you all day, and everything you need. So. I know I'm gonna take it probably a lot of slack because a lot of people don't believe in filming with their iPhones, but I do. You, the iPhone gives you a lot in that package if you understand how to use it. You're sitting around waiting on the A7S Mark III to give you 4K 60 and you have it on the iPhone X. Is the quality gonna be the same? No, but you can still film some amazing stuff with an iPhone. It's not the equipment that make you a great filmmaker, it's not. Um, it's your ability to tell stories with the equipment you have and think about it the quality you get from your iPhone We were not it, it rivals like a 5d mark II, if not better So just think about that and that little bitty iPhone you're getting some you're getting Excellent quality that wasn't even around pretty much on DSLRs three or four years ago. So Just take that into consideration also the ability to edit it right on the device and upload it right on the device is unbelievable. Um, so the things I don't like about the Smooth 4, I don't like the fact that in the app, there is no way to tell proper exposure. There is no histogram, there is no light meter, there's nothing, you're just guessing. Uh, I don't like that. Um, also, I wish that the gimbal can handle a little bit more weight. Often when I have it all set up and I'm doing too much moving and I have my ND filter on, it'll slide over. Um, and when the gimbal can't handle the weight, the motor's cut off and you can't cut them back on, to my knowledge, without restarting the device. I'm looking for a smaller ND filter. I may just go with some, some ND tape, but I have an adjustable ND filter by Newer that I love, uh, unfortunately, I can use it on here, I just can't use it and move a lot. Um, I'm anxious to try moment lenses, um, so especially the new anamorphic that should be coming out sometime this year with this gimbal. And you know, Zhiyun has released firmware updates in the past that almost double the power. So I'm hoping they have another trick like that up their sleeves. But it is a really good gimbal. Um, and the game changer, like I said, it's a million gimbals out here for your iPhone. The game changer is the software that comes with this one. 
and the ability to focus and pull focus. It is a game changer. Try it, it's 140 bucks. It's the best investment you could make for filming on your iPhone. Um, the, the, I would say the first investment is an ND filter. This is definitely number two. So, you know, if you're looking for something run and gun on the go, we've even captured some B-roll for clients. You know, every now and then you'll get everything packed up you'll get ready to go and the client's like, hey, can you grab this real quick? And you're like, ah, do I really wanna pull out my FS5 and set it back up? No, boom, bang, pop, I'm moving, I'm grabbing it. We mix it in with good footage. They never know what hit them. Um, another thing I would love uh, from Genium is the ability to use Filmic Pro with it. Filmic Pro offers a higher bit rate and better files for color grading and things like that. Um, when you get that and you add it with like Fusion Pro, um, your ability to edit on your iPhone, on your iPad, color grade, man, you have everything you need on your iPhone. If you're traveling and you want to edit videos and shoot stuff and go straight to YouTube with it, trust me, you have everything you need right there. Uh, and it is a awesome combination. And it's the future, especially for documentary style, vlogging, um, anything that doesn't require heavy post-production will probably be done on your iPhone and your iPad. Often I'll shoot on my iPhone, shoot it to my iPad, edit it using my Apple Pencil and things, and I'll send it straight to YouTube. So my take again on the Smooth 4, it is a must have. Um, it is awesome. It is, it is everything you could wish for, especially with my setup. Um, having that smooth footage mixed in with great audio, you can't go wrong for mobile setup. All right, guys. Listen, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit the notification button. Make sure you guys like, share, and if you have any uh, questions, you know, post them in the comments. Those of you who have posted them in the comments know I get right back with you. If I'm not getting back with you, somebody with the team is getting right back with you, and we are replying to comments and questions. If any of you find a lighter ND filter, please let me know. Post that in the comments as well. Um, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next video. For more daily updates, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.